Hello out there, it's David Miller, Phoenix, Arizona multimedia artist and educator. I also happen to work in an art gallery. So today I'm going to tell you five tips on getting your work into art galleries. This is something that I've learned over 20 years. I've also learned it because I work in the art gallery. And it is also advice that comes from the curator of our particular art gallery. Number one, you should have a consistent body of work of at least 20 pieces when you are submitting to a gallery. And let's break that down. Consistent means that there is a particular theme to all of your work or a particular look to it. It isn't a collection of your greatest hits and it isn't a collection of different media. It is at least 20 pieces large. Now, one of the reasons for having at least 20 pieces is you need to fill up a gallery space and if there's only like 10 pieces that's not enough to fill all the walls in most galleries. Also, it's less stuff that the gallery can sell. These 20 or more pieces need to be well crafted and they can't be like seven great ones and 13 bad ones. They shouldn't be 16 great ones and four bad ones. It really needs to be at least 20 of the best things you can make that hang together and have a theme that is explainable and relatable to the general public. My second tip for you is to attend the gallery openings. This is where you can actually introduce yourself to the curators or other managers of the gallery. This is where you get to see how the gallery actually functions and this is how the curator knows that you have interest in the gallery space itself and aren't just interested, um, hey, I've got artwork and I want to put it somewhere, you know? That's where a lot of people go wrong is that they just sort of be a real scattershot with their artwork. They think that it's so great that it would be a privilege to put your stuff up in this space. Like you, the gallery, you should be honored that I am interested in you. Well, if you want to have the gallery interested in you, you should show some initiative and attend the openings. My third tip for you is to see if the work is actually a good fit in the gallery. So, of course, you can attend the openings and see if there's artwork that has uh, some relationship to the kind of things that you do, but it's also worth your time to look on the gallery's webpage and see what previous shows they've had. Do they have any artists that you actually like? Have they ever shown artwork that is exactly the same as yours? Or have they recently shown things that are uh, so similar that you aren't likely to be accepted? Do you think your work actually belongs in this space and with the curator's vision? The fourth tip for you is to have good documentation of your artwork when you are submitting it. What I mean by that is you probably at some point have to hire a photographer to photograph your sculptures and your paintings. And not just any photographer, but somebody who's got a reputation and is good at photographing artwork. If all you do is set your work on the arts and crafts table or somewhere in your backyard and photograph it with your cell phone, it reflects poorly on your artwork by making it look worse than it does in real life. And it reflects poorly on your own work aesthetic uh, a gallery owner will look at that and say this guy or girl does not value me well enough to send in good photos and they don't value their own work well enough to have good photos taken of them. So even though it might cost you a little money, you only need to have it done once when you hire a photographer to take good pictures of your artwork and then you can use those photos over and over when you submit to your juried shows, your gallery submissions, wherever. And then number five is you need to have professional habits and hopefully if you're watching this you have those anyways. But if you have a lunch meeting with a curator you need to arrive on time possibly a little bit early. You need to dress nice. Uh, you need to return phone calls, and when you talk on the phone, you need to be professional sounding. Um, you can't show up stoned. You can't show up late. You shouldn't be swearing. You should take your artwork and your art career as seriously as you would any other job. Because if you don't, 
you're not gonna be showing in any galleries. I know that's hard for a lot of artists because we do the things we do because we are often outcasts and we like to fly our freak flag high, but uh, professional habits are gonna get you a lot further anywhere in the world than unprofessional ones, the gallery scene included. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more creative tutorials, gear reviews and video art. Also check out our Patreon for weekly bonus videos and model photography sets.